Boop, 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 boop. Look at all those, look at all these symbols and things. This is just autogen romanization. Just being smattered out like it's nothing because I have discovered the way. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to Nuh. Alrighty, today I'm going to show you guys a helpful tip for making romanizations of your conlangs able to be typed on your computers. I've done this several times with the various versions of the autogen romanizations and the one for Pythum so far. Um, this time I'm going to be doing the one for proto cern Cahelan because I'm definitely going to be needing that a lot in the coming months. Um, I don't need one for Ami because it fits in within the classic Latin keyboard um, and it doesn't have any diacritics or any of that, so we're, we're just skipping straight to Protoss and Keelan for now for that. Um, this is really useful, an extremely useful thing to have at your disposal, in my opinion. No more having to copy and paste like every letter with a diacritic or otherwise untypable IPA symbol because as long as it exists in the Unicode, then it can become a, the definition for any key on a keyboard. For this method, I'm gonna be using the Windows Keyboard Layout Maker. There's two limiting factors to this though. First, it only works on Windows, as far as I know, being that it is the Windows Keyboard Layout Maker and all. Um, I'm not a Mac boy, don't even ask me about that. The next issue is that it requires a certain version of the .NET framework. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like makes certain programs work and doesn't, I don't even know how to explain it really, ask a tech person. Um, some computers have advanced beyond this certain version of the .NET framework that the Windows layout maker uses, as in they kind of forgot about it, at least in the most recent version of Windows. Windows, they've forgotten about it. I'm sure at some point they'll update it un unless they've completely given up. If, if, if you need that .NET framework, I have the link to that in the description along with the link to the keyboard generator. It adds a couple more steps, but it's not, it's not too difficult. Anyway, all right, so this is the link right here for downloading the Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator. It looks like just a, a Surface Pro 7 ad, but you scroll down and then it has all these things here. It's got like the version, what the file name is called. It's msklc.exe, um, self-explanatory. As you can see, it was published in its current form in 2007. So it kind of makes sense that this .NET framework might not work. And you can see the supported operating system right here needs to contain this .NET framework 2.0. Um, and again, like with proceeding updates of Windows, they might fix this. It's been kind of on and off for me over the past couple years. But overall, I needed to download it on this computer, but not on my Surface. This is what the page looks like for the .NET Framework 2.0 version download. If you need that, again, links in the description. And it looks like the same kind of page, it's just a different download link right here. Yeah, so you're gonna download it right here, boom. Click that download, msklc.exe, right there. It'll be in your downloads, and then you'll double click it. You'll slap it open. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's already open, but it's really, it's the most simple download that you could ever do. It's just like a little beep boop bop, and that's it. And then if it says that it doesn't work, it's because that .NET framework is not the right version. Then you have to go over to this page, same thing, slap download. Boom, look at that, netfx64.exe. And that'll show up in your downloads as well. And then, kablam. Yeah, it'll, it'll do all that. But again, like I already have this downloaded. I don't need to do anything. The keyboard, oh, I'm still in Pythum. Oops, look at that. There we go, Microsoft Keyboard Layout Creator 1.4. Open it up, and then you get this right here a nice hearty blank keyboard screen. Now you can set any value to any of these things. Like, oh, now the Q actually makes a G. Oh dang, you can do anything with it. And then you can also change the shift states, right? Different symbols gonna show up when you capitalize it. Like in Pythum I have, everything is generally lowercase, but whenever you hold down shift and put down a vowel, it puts uh, an acute mark. So it does that. You could do the same thing with alt control and with control if you need to. If you need like a ton of symbols, then you have 
literally three full sets of keyboards that you could go through. And I think that's pretty cool. So for this one, obviously I'm creating the Protoserankahelin one. So I gotta go to the Phenology Protoserankahelin, which I just so happen to have just made a table for today. Um, so we have all these sounds and I'm gonna keep the ones that match up with our keyboard matched up you know on the actual keyboard because it's easier to remember that way but obviously you can do it whatever way you want you can map it out like an ipa chart if you want i'm just gonna start setting up all these things and i'm not even gonna do any capitalizations because again this this is the proto language i'm doing so it really needs only to have the lowercase yeah thus going in the x position i'm gonna keep comma period yeah and so in shift I don't really need anything except for maybe like a question mark um yeah so again like if you don't like what this looks like you could just change it at any point it doesn't really matter they're they're pretty much arbitrary I match mine up to the Latin keyboard as much as possible and then you know filled in the blanks and then added any other guys up into the numbers so yeah and obviously these are all these are all IPA symbols that I'm using. You could use any symbol that's in the Unicode. You could just go on Wikipedia or Wiktionary and you can just slap them out. Um, and it's it's going with, yeah, there's gonna be everything and you can even put like the modifiers, the little aspiration symbols, palatalization symbols, everything on there. And the keyboard layout will accept it and it'll spam that out whenever you do it on the keyboard. I know that because there's the aspirated P in Pivum and that works perfectly fine as a singular symbol. Now, it has not been saved yet. This is labeled just layout 01 description, blah, blah, blah. So what you need to do is first you got to save it, right? So we're going to save the source file as, and then it'll give you a prompt to name it. And then I'm going to name this. I'm just going to call it PSC, description, proto cern Kahilin keyboard. Company, nah. copyright, nah. all right. And so here is the little drop down menu. As far as I know, you can't create a language to go on here. You have to basically overwrite the files of a different language, which kind of sucks. Let me know if I'm wrong, because I'd love to not get rid of other languages, but you know, there's a lot of languages that exist and many of them I am never going to learn, unfortunately. So, I'm going to choose one, right? I'm going to choose a language and that is going to be the, you know, starting place, the, the holding place for all this information, whenever I go to add it in in my settings. So I'm going to choose one. If you choose one that writes things right to left, <laughs> then you're kind of screwed, unless you want things to write right to left, because if you choose one that default goes right to left, then it's going to type right to left. Um, there's a way to fix it because originally Syriac is written right to left. So whenever I put the Autogen keyboard on there, it did it did everything backwards. There's a way in the settings that you can fix it, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try and not choose one that's written right to left so that I can make myself have a bit of an easier time going through this. I love you, Occitan, but it's gotta happen. So here we go, saving it. Okay, so you go to test the keyboard layout and it lets you open up a little window and you can just type everything in and it is working beautifully. Look at all those beautiful. All right, so we're going to do the next step, most important step, and that is going to be to build the DLL and set up the package. So you click that. The language bar flashes. It says verification succeeded, but with warnings. Log is located there. Would you like to see the log? And it tells you if there's any errors or whatever. And then it says blah, blah, blah. This is not in the default system code page of Occitan language you specified. This may cause compatibility issues in non Unicode applications. And for all intents and purposes, that doesn't matter. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Whew. Yes. Now we're going to open the directory and it takes you to the folder that was created for. My folder's labeled PSC. This is where things become a bit variable. It depends on your system. 
I usually just go through and I just click on each one of these because they'll tell you like, oh, this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work, this one doesn't work, this one does work, and then that's the correct answer. How about you? Nope. How about you? Oh, and then setup. All right, ProtoStern keyboard has been successfully installed. All right, but then you'll notice, wait a second, that's still not on my list of keyboards. Oh golly gosh dang, what do I do now? Well, I'll tell you what, usually you have to restart the computer to get it fully working. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'm gonna get back to you in a second recording. BRB. All right, we have restarted the computer and, all right, language settings. Oh, look at that, there's Occitan. I mean, Proto CERN Kahilan keyboard and we'll switch the language to that and then I will go down here and I will type something and I will be like so boom there you go just like that you have your own keyboard so yeah that's how I do it I mean maybe there's another way to do it I'm sure there is there has to be another way but just for slapping you know, your romanization on here that can work in any font that's compatible with Unicode. This is a pretty good way to do it. That's basically it. Protostern Kahilan furthered. Hopefully this was helpful for all of you. And until next time. Also, another thing. There is now a Agma Schwa Discord server. Um, there's not much use on it right now, but I'm trying to get more people in it so that they can help me do polls and give suggestions and video help and, you know, just have conversations with me about conlanging related things and, you know, just join like a little community on there. So I'll post that as a link in the description and I will also probably, you know, put, put a link to it on the screen or something right now. Um, yeah, so please go ahead and join. You know, we can make it a little more active. Uh, so yeah, if you want to talk to me there, talk to me there. Um, if you want to contact me about various linguistics or conlang related help or just want to have a conversation with me or something, then you can just email me at ngamail at gmail.com or put a comment in the comment section and I respond to most of them. Um, and I'll be doing more live streams now that I figured out that technology. Um, you know, it's just fun. You know, it helps me pass the time while I'm doing conlang work, doing all that stuff. So yeah. Um, anything else? Just let me know. All right. Actually, not out this time. See y'all later. Also, let me know if you want my book again. If 25 people or more want it, then you know, I'll, I'll make more copies. Epic thumbnail.